saying to the government of America that her policies in South Africa are deplorable and unjust, cruel and wicked. I am saying to America, I am saying to America that America, you were wrong out of your own feeling of guilt allowing the Holocaust of the Jews to take place in Germany when President Roosevelt knew that the Jews were suffering and burning in ovens he turned the other way and when the Pope knew that the Jews were burning in the ovens he turned the other way there were no blacks involved in killing Jews it was Christians so-called Christians knowing that you hate the Jews yourself. And you turned your back while they were suffering. <laughs> Go ahead. Then to make up for your wickedness against your Jewish brethren. You permitted the stealing of land from the Palestinians to give them a homeland, and you are wrong, and you are wrong, and you are wrong. Support the state of Israel with billions of the taxpayers' dollars. You don't ask the American people. You do what you want to do. And because I have the courage to speak out against it, now I'm an anti-Semite. Then condemn me with truth. I have been saying that the Jews were to be returned by the Messiah to the promised land, not by Ben Gurion. Ben Gurion was not the Messiah. Golda Meir was not the Messiah. Why did not you wait for the Messiah? It is because of your disbelief in God and your disbelief in the scripture and your wicked hypocrisy that you could not wait. Therefore, you marshal your own forces to steal land from the Palestinians. leaders to back me up. Farrakhan is doing the talking. So therefore you can disassociate yourself from this portion of my speech. But you cannot say that I have lied. I'll offer my life to all of you for your life if you prove me a liar. And that I know you cannot do. So when you repudiate me tomorrow morning, which you have already planned to do anyway, I shall stay around till after your press conference and I will deal with what you say. This is my 
my position. You heard it from my mouth. You don't need the press to filter what I say. You heard it from my mouth. Don't I have a right to take a position that is contrary to the popular version of what is truth? Don't I have a right to criticize Jewish behavior if I think it is incorrect? Don't I have a right? Then if I have that right and I take that right, then shut up. I will take the consequence.